Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidModerX.com. Today I have a really fun ROM review for you guys. A lot of you have been requesting the Jedi X ROM, so that's what we're going to look at today. Of course, this ROM is based on TouchWiz. So you're going to have all the TouchWiz features included. Team Deviant has also included all kinds of custom modifications, which we are going to go through thoroughly. Beyond that, he's included the CPU sleeper, which is going to increase battery life and the Bravia engine, and all kinds of modifications for music and sound. So this ROM should be awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we'll do is jump into settings and about phone to see what we're working with. You guys can see that we're running Android version 4.1.2, the Saber kernel, and this is Jedi XV12. Next we'll look at how fast this ROM is. You guys can see just how fast I'm flying through the home screens. This does not come overclocked in any way. It comes clocked at 1.6 megahertz, and you guys can see just how quickly this ROM moves. Of course if you decided to overclock you could with the Sabre kernel. We'll get into that a little bit later. So I ran a couple of quadrant scores and I averaged about 7500. Battery life on this ROM has been better than average. You can see that I've been running this all day and I'm a heavy heavy user uh, so for me to have ran this ROM for four and a half hours and still be at 82 percent is pretty outstanding. So as can be expected, this ROM does come with the native Wi-Fi Tether hotspot features totally built in. You won't have to run any third-party apps to connect any device to your Android's Wi-Fi mobile hotspot. Pretty cool stuff. Jedi X comes with a modified TouchWiz launcher to give you ultimate screen real estate. There are some other modifications to the launcher, such as the transparent app drawer, which looks really cool. You also get the transparent notification drop down with the deviant development logo at the bottom there's also some toggle widgets there at the top which are customizable we'll get into that a little bit later there are plenty of custom apps included in this rom to give you an ultimate user experience such as awesome beats awesome beats is going to help all of you audiophiles to get clear and crisp audio uh, there's several enhancements that you can make within that app Voodoo Sound is another application that's included here for you audio files. It allows you to change the amplifier in your headphones. It allows you to change the maximum volume limit. And it allows you to change the bass boost as well as quite a few other things. If you're into audio and you're into modifying that, then this has several options to help you along the way in that. Jedi X also comes with a Walkman music player. Now this is going to work in unison with the Sony Bravia engine to provide you with an ultimate audio experience. Some ringtones and notification sounds have been added to make for really just a fun addition to this Jedi X ROM. So obviously the best part of running a TouchWiz based ROM is that you do not lose any of the functionality that's built into TouchWiz. Here you can see that one handed operation is working perfectly fine which for a phone like a Note 2 that has a screen that's this large you really do need that extra functionality. Uh, for some people it is a make or break thing whether or not they have this TouchWiz functionality built in. I also just wanted to go ahead and show you guys that the S Pen is fully functional in this ROM and uh, there's a really neat little addition, another fun addition uh, with this ROM. Whenever you pull out the S Pen, you get this really neat lightsaber sound effect. I know all your friends are going to think that you are an uber dork, uh, but you kind of got to give it to them. If you're running a ROM like Jedi X, you probably are an uber dork anyways. Either way, the S Pen is fully functional, and you guys can see in this short little demonstration that it is working 100%. Another really cool modification has to do with multi-windows. Um, multi-window is supported here, and it's supported for all applications. You can quickly drag and drop any application you want for multi-windows, so that is pretty cool as well. This ROM is so much more than TouchWiz. 
It includes a toolbox called the Jedi ROM Tricks. We'll run through that real quick. The first option there is just the development team. Second option is the widgets. This is where you can customize those pull down toggles. Uh, you can add any toggle you want. You can also rearrange them. Next is the custom ink color. Whenever you're on your lock screen, when you unlock it, there is a color effect that takes place. You can change the color to any color you like there as well. You can barely see it, but it is there. It's pretty neat. Keyboard switcher is included. This allows you to change between your normal keyboard and your stylus keyboard. Custom framework allows you to change your phone's entire framework to tablet or phone mode. With per app DPI settings, you're able to change the DPI on a per app basis. So you can put one individual app into tablet, hybrid, or phone mode, depending on the settings. It also comes with the LMT launcher so that you can enable Pi Control. Of course, Pi Control was first made popular on Paranoid Android. It's found its way into several ROMs, including CyanogenMod 10 and AOKP. It is also in Jedi X, so you don't have to feel left out since you do have Pi Control in this ROM as well. Icon Changer allows you to customize any app icon. It's a pretty cool feature there. Earlier I had mentioned that you can overclock with the Saber Kernel, which you can all the way up to 1.92 gigahertz for lots and lots of speed. There's also some governors to choose from. This ROM comes with its very own custom boot animation to give you more of that Star Wars Jedi look and feel to your entire experience. So I had a bit of extra fun with this ROM. I decided to add the R2-D2 wallpaper application and also the Death Star widget. You can find each of those very easily on the Play Store. Search Death Star Clock Widget, you'll find that. And then also you can search R2-D2 wallpaper app and you'll find that pretty easily on the Play Store. It comes with all sorts of Star Wars wallpapers to really complete the experience of the Jedi ROM, in my opinion. Now that we've gone over everything, we can go ahead and install this ROM. We'll go ahead and reboot into recovery now. Once booted into the recovery of your choice, either TeamWin Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery, the install becomes very simple from there. First, you'll want to factory reset wipe data. Next, you'll want to wipe cache. You'll just swipe to wipe. Next, you'll want to go ahead and wipe Dalvik cache. Simply swipe to wipe. When all of your wipes are complete, you'll go ahead and install the ROM itself. Now, this ROM comes with the G apps pre installed, so you will not have to install those separately. Just find the Jedi XV12.zip. Be sure that's what you're flashing, and then swipe to confirm the flash. Give that about five minutes to install, and then you can reboot the system. So guys, that about wraps it up for the Jedi X ROM. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on Android devices. We're going to cover root ROMs and all kinds of stuff. Also, check me out at droidmotorx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. That's where I post all of my updates. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.